You may have heard the term chart of accounts before, and it might sound like something fancy. I'm Justine Lackey from Good Sense Bookkeeping, and I'm gonna teach you what that term means in real language, real talk, not accountant speak. Navigating to your chart of accounts is super easy. From your home screen, you wanna click the transaction menu, and then scroll down to the chart of accounts. Now, what is the chart of accounts? Every single transaction in your business life will travel through your chart of accounts at some point. And that means owner's contributions, money you put in to start up your business, deposits that you receive from customers, expenses or money that you spend to make money or to run the operations of your business. All of them hit the chart of accounts. And the chart of accounts is organized by the type of account that it is. And you can actually organize these by name, but the typical way we do it in accounting is to organize them by type. And the first accounts that appear on the chart of accounts are your bank accounts. So in our sample company here, we have a checking bank account and we have a savings bank account. Then there's all the other different types of accounts that appear. Accounts receivable, that's money that you receive into your business through invoices or sales receipts inventory assets, which is inventory that you have on hand, prepaid expenses, that's a little bit more sophisticated. You'll use that if your accountant directs you to. Uncategorized assets, probably not something you're going to use. Undeposited funds, which is a feature we talk about in my QuickBooks Online Mastery course. Whether or not you have vehicles, credit cards, which is a very common account for small businesses, liabilities, which you would have if you have payroll companies or a loan. Equity, this is the money that you put into and take out of your business. Income, so that's all the different sorts of ways that you generate income. And so in my bookkeeping business, I might have income accounts for bookkeeping services, program sales like the QuickBooks Online Mastery course, consulting income, and reimbursable income. So those are a couple of different types of income accounts. Cost of goods sold, uh, we talk about this extensively in the Chief Wealth Officer program. This is the money that you spend to make money. It's the money that you put in, say, if you are manufacturing t-shirts, it would include the shirts, the printing, the thread, the freight. If you have a service business, this would be your labor, the services that you resell. And then these are expenses. These are all of the operational costs that you have to run your business. Advertising, automobile expenses, bank service charges, disposal fees, this might be janitorial expenses insurance, legal and professional fees. This is interesting because they have job expenses here, but these are really cost of goods sold expenses. So that's an overview of your chart of accounts. One quick tip I wanna give you is stay away from what we call in the Good Sense headquarters office, account bloat. And what that means is you don't want your chart of accounts to get super big. You want to keep it nice and trim so that when you go and run your awesome financial reports that are part of the QuickBooks Online software, your reports make sense and they're easy to read. So there you have it. There's an overview of your chart of accounts. I hope you found this helpful. This is Justine Lackey from Good Sense Bookkeeping, and I hope you enjoyed this tip. For more savvy ways to use QuickBooks Online and bite-sized morsels to help you more effectively manage your business, subscribe to our channel and share this with your friends. For more incredible resources, head on over to goodsensebookkeeping.com.